Hello. So if you play the Headrush pedal board like I do, I've had it since 2018 and I liked it a lot. And then you saw they're putting out the Headrush Prime and it's got amp cloning and Wi-Fi and vocal processing, a few other perks. So I got, got excited and ordered it right away. When I got it, I found out it was wider than the Headrush pedal board. Um, just enough that it didn't fit in my pedal board case. So now all of us Headrush Prime buyers are, are out here looking for cases. Here's one option. It's a Rockville DJ controller case and it's made for the Pioneer DDJ 1000 which is slightly larger than the Headrush pedal but what that does is it gives you extra room for cables and stuff. So here's a look at what the Headrush Prime looks like in the Rockville DJ, DD J controller case. Now the one thing, this is this is a pretty decently built case. Um, there's nothing to hold the handles together that I found yet. That's a little annoying, big deal. It's got a nice shoulder strap, but you can't really open it properly unless you disengage the shoulder strap. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the strap on it or not. But as you can see, it holds the prime quite nicely. These straps barely reach. They, they, they're almost to the end of the Velcro because the DJ controller is taller than the headrush pedal board. That's not a big deal. I don't even know that I really need straps on it. It comes with these extra pads. I, I'm, I might glue them in or stick them in with Velcro or something. These guys, all, all these pads are auxiliary. They, they come with it and you can arrange them to help make your gear fit better. And there's a video online that shows you how to, how to arrange the pads if you want. I'm just taking the extra pads and stuffing them in the end. These two are secured by Velcro, so they're, they're good to go, and then these guys just slip in. So, for me, my pedal board's safe. This has got decent padding on it. Um, in fact, it, it's, it's pretty healthy padding, I've gotta say. And then it also has, it must have some ABS plastic or maybe cardboard or something and the outer portion of it to give it some rigidity, and that's a good thing. Also, I always like a case that has the nice little rubber stoppers on the bottom so you don't tear up the nylon every time you slide it across the floor. Plus, being a DJ controller case, it's got some extra space in it. Here's my power cable, my USB cable. These pouches are made to hold microphones, which is kind of neat. I'm sure I'm going to use it for that. Uh, I might stick my wireless in here for gigs. My wireless transmitter could go in there. And then, if that's not enough, there's this top pouch that opens up. Since it's made for DJs, it'll hold two laptops, two small laptops or a tablet. And that's great because I use an iPad for lyrics and for Spectrum Analyzer on stage. So that's a pretty nice feature as well. This thing's going to hold everything I want for a gig. And it was $89 plus tax, free shipping. So the whole, whole thing all in was about $96. And I think that's worth it to protect my headrest. There's the whole thing, lock, stock, and barrel. It's pretty big. It's, this is not a, a small case, but it's not a small pedal either. And I even had a couple of pads left over that I could use for something at, at some point in the future. So here it is. There's the Rockville case holding a headrest prime pedal board. And I'll post the model number in just a second so you can see exactly what it's called.